Hello, my name is Stephen Thomas, and this is a quick tips and tricks video on setting up and using managed identity with both consumption and standard edition logic apps. I'm going to show you how to set this up using Azure Service Bus, but the approach that we see here is very consistent across many Azure services. So let's jump into the Azure portal. Here inside the Azure portal, I've pre-created two different logic apps. Here you can see a consumption-based logic app that I've created. In order to allow this to use managed identity, we have to enable it at the consumption logic app level. I go over here under identity, and here I simply turn the status to on and hit save. This is going to enable this resource to use managed identity. If we're working with standard edition logic apps, it's even simpler. Managed identity using system assigned identity is already enabled by default. Now that that's enabled on this consumption based logic app, Let's jump over to our service bus and see how we would assign permission to both a consumption and standard logic app. I'm now over on my service bus and I can simply go over here and click on role assignments and I can see the resources that are already assigned to this service bus namespace. You can see down here that there are some that say identity not found. These could be from logic apps that I've created and hence deleted and they will no longer show up on here since they're no longer in my subscription. Let's go ahead and add two new resources here. I'm gonna go add, role assignment. I'm gonna give everybody data operator or data owner permissions. I'm going to select managed identity and select my members. Under managed identity, I'm first gonna select logic app. And I'm gonna select my consumption based logic app here for identity. I'm going to say select. I'm going to go and add one more. Go under manage identity, go to logic app standard. And again, I'm going to select my identity logic app. Hit select. I'm going to click review and assign. And review and assign again. And just like that, it's going to give these two logic app resources the owner permissions at this service bus level. So let's go ahead and see how we would now create a connection in our logic app. I'm going to jump over to my consumption based logic app, go to the designer. Now the designer is loaded. I'm just going to do a blank logic app and I'm going to search for service bus. It's right here under recent. And I'm going to say when a message is received from the queue autocomplete, I'm going to create a new connection. And here under authentication type, I would simply select logic app managed identity and I just need to give it the service bus namespace that I am connecting to. I hit create and now you'll see that I have access to this service bus queue. Let's see how we would do that under standard edition. I'm going to go under my standard edition logic app. Remember in standard edition the logic app is a higher level container that can have multiple workflows underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and create a new workflow and I'm going to make it stateful. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the designer here. Going to do the same thing, add a trigger for service bus. In this case, I'm going to use the in app trigger when a message is available in a queue. Same thing, set up my demo connection, do managed identity and put the fully qualified namespace here and hit create new. And just like that, I've connected securely to my service bus namespace. And you can see here that I have my queues available for selection. It'll iterate through and give me a, a selection list here. So this gives you a quick overview of how to use managed identity inside both your consumption and standard edition logic apps. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.